I just wanted to show this because I accidentally did this. So I had just gone back to Sylvia Land to get Ashley all, you know, question marked up and just started getting into random and started working on random encounters and forgot to actually swap them out of the party. So it's Ashley versus Grendel. That's all. Um, little video starting in a moment. And we're back, Internet. Uh, ugh, this has been a long time. Um, I was I've been doing things for about two hours or so. Did I actually say what I think it said? I can't guarantee that, but let me double check. So I've been trying to grind up specific items at this point. Um, I abandoned where I was at because it was, I was leveling up way too fast. Um, and I didn't want to do that. Let me double check to, okay, yes, I did get the item. Um, so what I've been looking for are busts. Um, these are things that you can throw at people. And we have a guardian now that allows people to throw. Specifically, Tim's current like, guardian, uh, Starry Row. So I need, I need six of those items, not five. What the hell am I saying? It didn't give it to me. What the hell? So every other time that I've been doing this, save state and reload state hasn't done anything to change the outcome of the battle. So it is even more random than I thought to get these. That's not good. Well, I might need to pause this for a bit because I'm supposed to get the sixth one now. Okay, yeah, I will be right back. I'm going to get that sixth one. I was just going to show you the enemies. <sighs> be back. <sighs> Finally got one. Good kitten once more. Uh, that was only two minutes later for reference. Um... So, the chance of getting those has got to be really low. Do I have the photo album that I can just check? Where is the photo album? I thought I received it. Oh no, I just have the coupon for it. I don't actually have the album yet. That requires a little bit later. So, what I did was, Tim's the only person with best luck. And since those enemies are really easy to kill if you have a water ring, which, by the way, I bought water rings... I bought lots of things. Yeah, you can see his luck is best, normal, and good. Um, what else have I done? I have increased personal skills. Uh, you'll notice that characters are a little higher level than they were before. That's what I meant by, oh crap, I'm leveling up too much, and I did not get any of those items. I have a hunch that the drop rate is about 2%, maybe as high as 5%, and I needed 5 busts, 6 busts, I did it again, um, yep, so both Tim and Lilka now have up parameter level 2, and Ashley now has up P defense, might have shown that last time, I don't think I did, um, finally, oh yeah, finally, Tim actually has all of his spells now. So that's good. Um. Yeah, this took a while. Not a fan of how long that took. So let's actually get back to what we were trying to do to begin with. <sighs> okay. It's time to call. Um, hello? I hopefully have some helpful info for you. But this is after a mine, right? Well, both Damson and Holst are well-known mining towns. Sorry, that's all we have now. You'll just have to go on that, okay? So. Um, first off, something I wanted to show. Which I might as well just do this now. Let's go to the Valeria Chateau. Um, the NPCs in the Valeria Chateau have new things to say now. And I wanted to show that off. Boo Kitty is apparently not wanting to face the camera. Oh, I forgot to move my out of the way. I'm sorry, Boo. All right. Um, let's 
Amy and I studied. I sorry, that's the right, wrong here. Amy and I studied telepathy in the Silge region. Come to think of it, I think the chief studied there too. He applies that vast knowledge to tactics and commandering. Commanding. Yeah. No, I'm not ready. You didn't hear this from me, okay? Kay reads girls' comic books. You know, the mushy kind. Sometimes she even cries when she's reading them. Imagine, at her age! <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong with that. It's getting late at night, so this is definitely going to be the last video that I recorded. I was not expecting this to take anywhere near this long. You're just regular items, right? Yeah, I think I'm okay on things. Although I am going to use the Violet Rose... So yeah, they're basically working on things while we're not. Um, Violet Rose. There we go. I just left the status effect on Tim since while he had the ring equipped, he was one-shotting them anyway. So it didn't really matter. Nothing in here right now, right? Right, okay. Sorry, after playing for the past nearly two hours with everything on Fast Forward, my eyes are a little... Um... Let's see... Basement. I'm basically just going to hit each of the floors to show what the NPCs are saying. Because it's been a while since we've talked to them, and it's good to have plot. Also... The best part of all. I enlisted help in finding my stolen cheeseburger. Tony and Scott. They're both extremely helpful, and we've really hit it off. After all, we all love chili cheeseburgers. Chili cheeseburgers are one of my favorite things, by the way. Um, it's pretty much... It's one of the very few ways I will eat a burger that's not medium rare. Mr. Liberation Army Hero wears mic gloves. He can smash his way through any danger with him. So don't worry. The mic glove on his left hand will bring about another miracle. Like bringing him back to life, apparently. Uh... The yellow motor is amazing powerhouse! The hull can barely keep up with all that power. Can't we help out somehow? Yeah, I'm just talking to people, basically. Because some people have interesting things to say, like, for instance, bionic implants are meant to re replace a limb lost to injury or disease. Never heard of someone having healthy limbs replaced intentionally. They're talking about cannon. Because... Yeah... Cannon doesn't have very many limbs from her original body. Small carrier-based aircraft? That's not easy to make with this technology. Gilgalat has advanced machinery because of the dragon fossils. Still, only a monster dragon, a living machine, could become a flying craft that small. That was the little catapult system that we knocked out that poor, cute little bomb. Alright, let's go up to basement first floor. I don't think there's... Uh, that's right, no, there's nothing here. Right. This is just the item shop. The ring shop, that is. So, there's no reason for us to go there. Let's hit first floor. Talk to people. Oh yeah, I need to make an actual save, because it's been a while. Ugh. Let's see how long it has been since the last actual save. In-game time. Real time's gonna be lower. It might be higher, because I've been fast-forwarding a lot. So, 21 hours to... 24 hours and 40 minutes. Yeah, 3 hours and 40 minute game time. Ugh. The blaze of disaster stripped the Guardians of both their will and their human form. The Guardians once ruled over Philgaia. Both their power is gone, Philgaia is wasting away. The balance between the Sword Magus and the Blaze of Disaster has shifted toward the evil side. The Blaze of Disaster is slowly achieving his goal of destroying the world. When will Philgaia be rid of the Blaze of Disaster threat? So apparently in Wild Arms 2... The Guardians didn't lose their humanoid forms by lack of faith or by attacks from aliens, but via the Blaze of Disaster going, yep, yep, nope, you don't get that anymore. 
There's nobody out in front reception. Of course, it's currently flying, so that kind of makes sense. Like I said, I just want to talk to people. Yep, you're the bullet person. With 50% more bullet puller bullet. We've been using the hovercraft to control the seas, but I'm changing strategies. I'm moving the hovercraft inside of your range of operations. The A-port feature has been modified for the teleport orb. For the teleport orb. Teleport orb. Put it to good use. Sir Valeria would look upon his sister with such a kind gaze. She is the surviving family member. She is his surviving family member. Both she and this land are equally important to him. Yeah, that's off limits because plot. I don't know why they don't let me actually do anything in there ever. I wonder if it's a game load thing. Because there's nothing. We were out there once and that's it. Maybe it's a zone that only triggers on plot and nothing else, so they don't want... I don't know. Hmm. The gems are fragments of the energy from the Raline veins, or Raline veins. That's why they could rejuvenate our own life energy. Nope, not talking to you all, although... Have I actually read the books here? I can't read the books here. Interesting. Yeah, I don't want to lose my precious forgetfulness status effect. In my humble opinion, Abicho saved his precious cookies too long, and now they're past their expiration date. Arms just doesn't seem the same without that other man. Just saying if they said anything different with him. Nope, apparently not. I don't like the fact that Altesia is just constantly at the kitchen. The evil monsters are born into Filgaia's barren land. Just as evil is born in the hearts of, that are barren. The hearts that are barren. There's something sad about them. Odysseus' crime is a stain on the barren human heart. But it reflects the barrenness of Filgaia's collective heart. Gee, Altesia, do you like the word barren by any chance? little stuffed animal there. That's cute. Just checking things. How it goes? Oh, there's like tools or stuff on the ground there. Wait, wait. Was that a skull and crossbones? It's a skull and crossbones. I don't have the right tools to be able to blow that up, do I? Just wondering. Ooh, that was a picture of the Guardian Lucid, Guardian of Desire from Wild Arms 1. Already looked at the tools room. And we've already looted the treasure chest here. Kenny! Representative Sword Magus. Because, of course. Alright, nothing else here right now. Let's go up another floor. We're on floor two, so we go up to floor three. Yeah. And then that'll be the last floor that we start investigating. Instead of the parlor, they've been using the briefing room for strategy meetings. I kind of miss the activity. Yeah, I don't quite understand why there's two separate dedicated rooms for something like this. It's... I really wonder how this game is scripted out. There's got to be something that causes it to require certain rooms, rather than it just being a cutscene type of thing. Just think. If Odessa gets the hat on the nuclear weapons, it's time to put a stop to them. If we don't, all of Fogaya will soon be destroyed. 
<laughs> so you still use that pathetic map scope, right? <laughs> we will use lost technology to spice it up a bit for you. Out of pity for you. Don't look so skeptical. Leave everything to us. You'll see how Guild Galad's technology can't even hold a candle to ours. There. All done. How's that for a nice power-up? <laughs> you say it looks the same. <laughs> Amateur. Now you can view the map in transport by projecting the image onto your retina. I don't think there was any change. I don't know. I don't I think I've ever seen that conversation. Usually at this point in the game, I just don't bother going back. Ever. Because there's no reason to. I just typically don't enter the Valeria Chateau unless plot tells me I have to. Let's go ahead and head out. I have spent 16 minutes in this video, and we haven't actually done anything yet. Also, I have kitties that are crying. All right. <laughs> Let's fly, and by fly, I mean teleport. Oh, I am missing something. I just realized. Um, I only have two crest caps instead of three. I need to find the third one. I me I that was intentional-ish, as in not intentional that I forgot to pick it up at some point. It's intentional as in, um, what you call it? I realized that I was missing it and wanted to have that recorded for the stream. Oh, I need to actually get out of the chateau first, off the Valerie Chateau. Then let's go to, so it's in, I know where it's at. We've been there before. It's just that it's been a bit since we've been in there. And it required a duplicator, which we didn't have at the time. We do now. So I'm heading over there. Ugh, that evil island. I did not get a single drop the entire time I was on the island. And unlike the um, host area where I can just Use fast forward, use auto battle, and just have Tim kill everything? Kinda can't do that. It's over here. I love the appearance of this dungeon so much. It's just gorgeous with the rain effect. Oops. Derp. I don't need battles anymore, especially not in here. Duplicator. This is the right one, right? Yep, cross cap. Okay. Uh, and all of them need to be bound with quick, actually. So I bound them with the wrong spell, but that's okay. That's easy to fix. I'm heading over to Holtz anyway. And quick is a level one spell. <coughs> Holtz. All right, we're about to hit some of the hardest battles of the game. I think there's only like a couple more of these that are in the yeah I need good luck type of battles. Oh, need to access them from the side apparently. Erase. Sorry, hyper weapons. Usually, hyper weapon is the thing I want there. I want quick. Oh, and. Get rid of Hyper Weapon, because it's really expensive to cast. And I want Quick Back for the actual spell. Uh, I really need to sort my spells, but there's no good way of sorting them in my mind. Okay. Oh, I need to actually talk to people in there. What am I doing? That's right. Holst is actually where I want to be. Right, Boo Kitty? Right. I won't say anything against you, so why not go back home before Odessa comes?
You heard? It's a rumor that the terrorists are after this town's ore. They're amateurs, though. They're after the mine to the northeast of town. Or I should say, the old mine that used to operate on the northeast side of town. Seems to me that going after an old closed-out mine is pretty foolish. Alright. We need to take the hovercraft to the northeastern part of the island. We've actually been over in that area once already. Or no, we were in the northwestern part of the island. We're going to the northeast part this time. It's just, you have to take the hovercraft because, you know, cliffs. I don't know. The way this, and this game is not greatly, this game's not laid out all that well map-wise in my mind. I mean, yeah, I know why they laid things out the way they did. It's just, uh, oh, actually it is the same beach. There it is. All right. This place is scary. Not the dungeon itself. I'm going to be fine there. Right, this mine was closed off a long time ago. Yeah, that's right. I don't feel any energy here. You can tell. So a priest is a priest who channels the Guardian's power. They can sense the energy of the Earth and spirits. That's proof that Tim's abilities as a Zoa priest have developed. Well, if that's so, then something strange. This is getting frantic trying to secure a large energy source, right? Why would they be after an empty mine? Yeah, that's true. I wonder what Brad would notice in a situation like this. Don't do that. Stop constantly asking what would Brad do. It's no use talking about someone who won't return. I'm sorry, but... <sighs> Let's survey the area first. May take a while, but if you keep moving forward, the route should appear. Keep in mind, we don't have our old tools. There are no bombs. There are no kicks. Nothing. That's what it was. Ah, uh, kaboom. Boom. That looked cheesy even back on Wild Arms 2. For, or back on an actual CRT for Wild Arms 2. That's not just the upscaler looking weird. Nothing, okay. I turn off auto battle now. A manticore and a basilisk. Uh, basilisks are just the normal enemies in... I opened up a monster guide because I got tired of trying to figure out what monsters I needed to hunt. Uh, manticores don't drop anything useful. Basilisks don't drop anything useful. Okay, don't care. Honestly, it's time to just start auto battling things. It's there's too many random battles. Although I suppose I could show you some of the new spells. Now that I think about it, since Tim can cast the lower level versions at least. Oh yeah, speaking of, I should actually equip the correct thing on Tim right now. Um, I think I want it here, and not Fenlegon, but Uruk. Boom! Headshot. Wait, there's no headshot here. Weird that there's little perches up there. It's 
kind of like that's supposed to be like a candlestick type thing, but there's no candlestick. That doesn't look suspicious at all. Did not mean to actually back out. Alright, there's... I'm going to guess freezing. Ah, no, I just need to turn things off. Okay. Okay. Yeah, these are really simple puzzles. I don't... I'm expecting things more complicated than they are. Oh, I have to time it. Okay. Oh, it's on that side, too. Really? <sighs> I mean, this is not a hard puzzle, it's just timing. Uh, I did actually get it. Just the fuse thing is dumb. Don't like this dungeon. Okay. Bats. Alright, save point. There's been zero of anything basically up until now. We've had one random encounter and nothing else. Oh yeah, I'm gonna actually have to make a new backup save file after this. Neat. We're at a half an hour. Shock slide! It's a bayonet cartridge for Ashley's use. It'll execute a shockwave attack on the enemy group. I mean, I might as well use it, because I really don't know why they don't just add it. And a crest graph? Oh no, I took damage. Quick, better use Puka. Blue ribbon. It does so little damage, it doesn't really matter. There we go. You've got a blue ribbon now. You're gonna need every itty bitty little bit of help that you can get. Because this is a very, very nasty combat. Actually. We're gonna need all the defense we can get. And Loka needs to be equipped with Secret Sign and Mateus Hall. Because Loka actually has a little bit more defense, so that's why.
Ooh, a second random battle. The heck are you? Captors. So, like, wall masters from Legend of Zelda? Um, they do drop nice things, but that's about it. Meh. Bonk, bonk. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Okay. <laughs> so, you're here, Ashley. You are the carrier of the demon. Damn it, Cannon. Cannon, descendant of the Sword Magus. Please wait a minute. We have no desire to fight you. We aren't supposed to fight. That's right. We're only fighting with you reluctantly because you attacked us. That's right. If I weren't burdened with destiny, I'd have no reason to fight you right now. But, Ashley Winchester, as long as the demon lurks within you, I target you. You are my prey. I, who carry the blood of the sword magus. Do I have no choice? There's no choice but to battle. Beware. Cannon fight. The hardest one. This fight, I genuinely have problems with even with Ashley leveled appropriately. The blood of the Magus, the flesh of the demon, are calling to each other. In other words, Ashley and my lost half-self. The battle, determine it male or female the way it should be. Trans is, er, if Cannon's actually supposed to be trans. Alright. We need to do stop. Should have healed first. I might have to reload because of that. Uh, we need quick. Okay, first aid is at least before cannon. That's good. I'm I'm significantly higher level than normal, so that's not too surprising. And a first turn pike kick. We're 967. Interesting. I am taking way less damage than I'm supposed to. Like, pike kick is prob probably supposed to be more like 1800 for reference. I can actually take this. Basically, I'm going to keep quicking Lilka until she goes first. Well, not counting first aid up. Oh, she is actually already first. Sweet. Drive cut. 1439. All right. And now I need to get Loka up to 55 force points, that way she can actually heal in one hit, which this should do. Nope, not quite. Okay. But that shouldn't be too hard because Tim can FP shift. Loka can heal herself because she's not in critical health or anything. Drive cut Tim. Ow. FP shift. We're going to be using FP shift a lot. Okay. Okay. Now I should be able to just fight. Let's use some of our new spells, shall we? Nova Rain. So Cannon doesn't have any area of effect attacks, which means that High Heal is actually perfectly sufficient for healing, as long as I can take at least one hit. At this point, nothing should insta-kill Tim. Nova Rain! It's just raining. Thousand damage. Not bad. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? Arctic. That's new. <laughs> mm. Alright. 
right? Oh, a regular hit. I don't even know if I need... Yeah, that doesn't even do damage. So the reason why is that I'm FP shifting constantly. Uh, in fact, speaking of... Or not FP shifting, but I have the FP stat up thing. And Tim is going to be bouncing on FP like crazy. So his defense is constantly getting higher. I wish I could see how much it actually was. I'm not even injured this turn. I guess I can throw out a spell. How about a high freeze? High break? Sure. Fourteen ninety-two, nice on damage. Left edge on Tim. It only does five hundred. Oh, that's right. I have Tim being the healer. Not. I forgot. I should have been doing it elsewhere. So, oh well. I guess I healed. Um, that means that it's your turn to use. Did I already use Arctic? Let's use Arctic. And I freeze again, I guess, because I've got the hit point. This is a lot easier than I remember. Of course, this isn't the hard battle. The hard battle's the next one. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and Dark Star and look to heal yourself. Zero. How many points of cannon have? 9,000? Eh. Probably not too far off of finishing it. I'm pretty sure these two attacks will finish her off, if not this one. Yep. <sighs> Notice that this time she's not standing. She's actually fallen to one here. Why? Why won't it don't why won't it deliver? You saying the sword matches blood in me is a lie? Can't be. This can't be happening. If so, why? Why won't my sword reach the evil demon? Answer me. Demon carrier. My half self, Ashley Winchester. to hunt the demon and get powerful. I gave up my body, but for what? Cannon. Don't touch me! I don't want any sympathy. There's an other me lurking inside me. It's a powerful force which can't help but destroy everything. But I believe power is neither good nor evil. It is I who willingly uses the demon's powerful force. Actually, you've technically only used it twice and you didn't have control over it either time. No, it's only technically once, that's right. And you didn't have control over it, but whatever. I wield this power for what I believe in. That's... Uh... I want to use this power to protect things that are important to me. I will take the evil power and turn it into my own power in order to defeat Odessa. Cannon, come with us. You don't have to join us, but when I can't use the power of the other me... Cannon, I want to borrow your power, which carries the blood of the Sword Magus. Ashley? Ashley. Something I myself have known. Every time I fight, every time I use that power, the other me inside gets bigger. When I can't avoid harming what I love, I want you to cut both of us down. Cannon? You're the only one I can ask, because you've already tried to do it three times, even though you failed all three times. Maybe you need the power level. That's why I want you on our side. 
Ashley. I'm... Look who's here! Ah, the show's over! Let's stop right there! Judica, so this was your plan. Ah, you catch on late! Preparations are done. While you were dealing with the hero nerd, I took care of things. Well, so, you're saying I planned, planned that? I didn't expect it to go so well. How? <laughs> whenever I'm happy, my glasses fall. Can you stand up, Cannon? The demon and hero are passing dreams, a bequest from the past. Living in obscurity is so very fitting. Cannon! Wake up! Cannon! This wound. We must treat it immediately. The town of Holst is closest! Ashley! Uh, Cannon's not an enemy. Let's go. Our opponent is Odessa. Let's hurry to Holst. That's right! We're rescuing Cannon. I have no control over any of this, by the way. I'm just hitting the buttons to continue. Why are you here? No one can heal her but me. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> no one can heal her but me. Her illness is very interesting. I mean, uh, severe. I don't want to leave her into anyone else's care. Your bionic implant has gotten a little loose, it seems. Victor series bionic implants are based on living bodies, so misuse is expressly forbidden. Perform an exorcisms requires extraordinary powers. As a sword magist descendant, I needed to get that power, even if it meant giving up my own body. She didn't need to go this far. Holy crap. So, if I remember right from looking at fan art and other official art, which I have, but it's spoiler laden. Um, Hannon, basically, it's her head and part of her torso. Everything else is cybernetic. Uh, both arms, both legs. It might just be parts of arms. I don't remember if it's a partial or full amputation. Shut up! If I didn't do this much, I would not have become self-aware. You have no right as a somebody possessed by a demon. Uh, what's that? What, what, what could that be, Ashley? I'll look out back. Maryville, I'll leave her with you. Don't worry, just go. I don't know what the hell the accent that was, but whatever. I have problems remembering Maryville's accent for some reason. It's supposed to be haughty woman. This is terrible. What happened? We've got to help out. Right. Hmm. Y'all certainly seem to be having a rough time of things. You don't even realize how sad you look running around like rats. Don't hate me, though. You have defenders of justice to protect you, which gives miscreants like me a reason to exist. People are hosts! I have wrong, yes, but these are my accomplices. That's not true! What are you saying? An unconvincing protest? So, you have finally arrived. I think your time has finally come. There is something to what you say, though. Because of who I am, descended to the Sword Magus, I do need enemies such as you to defeat, though. A hero only becomes a hero in battle, which is where I belong. That's right. Canon versus Judica. This is actually the reason why I needed to level up. It's because Canon would not be powerful enough to actually fight. Yeah, you can actually see it. She has an amputated limb at looks like mid arm on her right arm. You can't tell on the left side at all. And maybe amputated at um, thigh level for the legs. One eye is definitely replaced. 
So yeah, I guess torso is generally intact, but not much else. Mine is the dude that plenish is evil. You have a human body, but your soul is foul as that of a devil. Appropriate target for me. Well, Miss Human Concealed Weapon, show me what you got. So, Cannon is a very interesting character, but unfortunately we had to level up, which means that she's 14 levels in without any HP increase. On the plus side, the rest of my party is level 30 and 31, so, you know, that's at least 16 extra levels. Cannon is a fragile speedster. Unfortunately, uh, she doesn't really have all that much power right now. <laughs> but level 14 is enough for 850 hit points, and she's going to be getting hit for about 800. All right. First thing we need to do is start using press caps to get her speed up. I mean, she has really good speed. Oh yeah, we should equip gear. Uh, do, 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 do. Blue anklet. And Nova Shox. We're going for speed, it looks like. Which makes sense. Crest graph, or not crest graph, the crest things. Quick. Douglas, okay, good. That's what we wanted to see. By the way, Douglas does paralyzation. So basically, the way this fight gets screwed up is if Judica uses his strongest attack on the first round. Then we're screwed. There's no way to recover from that. Um, let's see. Another quick. Miriam, we're dead. If we hit. Yep. See? This is why I'm save stating, because I'm not going to screw around with this. Douglas is fine. Now we should be fast enough to be able to heal. Which means we're now equipping... Uh, we're now healing on round one. All right, let's see if we can get off the last quick, just so we have extra dodge percentage. Nope, Miriam. Oh, I could have actually missed now that I think about it. I guess I should probably let it go. We're going to be using berries to heal, so... Because Cannon doesn't have magic. Cannon has something else. Cannon basically has a completely different system. Nope, that hit. Try one more time. Regular attack. I can deal with that. <laughs> 24 hit points. Now it's big berry time. Miriam, which hit. I'm all the way at condition green already. Really wish I had, you know, the FP. Seriously, Miriam every turn. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Douglas, okay. All right. Starry Row, so I can get the strength to be able to actually attack. Now it's time for me to show you what her abilities are. So, she has Gats. I'm trying to remember how Gats work. That's right, she doesn't have any Gat level 1, or Gat level 2s. So basically, these are abilities that she has, and what it is is that every time that she uses an ability, she has a chance of sparking a level one, uh, next level ability. So what I'm going to do is, um, I really need the cat, actually. 
So if I use left edge, I have a percentage chance of sparking the next ability instead. Let's find out. It's not the way I wanted it to work. Sidewinder. That does 297. I'm going to need to heal. Keep in mind, I can also throw things at him. I'm trying to spark things, though. Ugh. Miriam. Oh, I missed. Er, they missed. Good. Wire Fist barked! Wire Fist is the lower level one. Okay. So, yep. Now I permanently know Wire Fist. That's the way this works. This is going to be a very slow battle, normally. Um, I'm trying to spark things first. That's the reason why I'm doing this. i um, trying to remember if I actually have to spark that way. So there's a 1 in 12 chance of sparking, basically, uh, for at least that ability. I think I could survive a hit? You know what? Let's try Gap 1. So that's what that does. And Gap 2 does this. It actually does a decent amount of damage, given that she's, like, the 14. However, I think it's time to just start chucking busts. Bust. Bong. It's 800 damage. enough healing. Judica actually has a decent amount of hit points in this variant. Ah, actually, I should be fine. Judica doesn't have that many. Miriam, I'm dead. Gonna be a lot of healing. Miriam, I'm dead. It's a boring boss battle, if I do say so myself. Sidewinder, that's fine. I can probably live through another? Let's find out. If not, I think they might be dead about this point. Nope. And I got hit with Miriam. <laughs> Definitely not going to survive that. Yep. 
I'm at 12 hit points. That's fine. I wish I could scan him, but I... Okay, that's Miriam. I'm going to have to immediately use another Big Berry. Douglas, that's fine. I'm using up so many of my Big Berries. Sidewinder, that's okay. I'm in danger. I need to heal. Luckily, I can steal big berries, so it's not that big. Jeez. Oh, I can steal them. So it's not like they're gone forever. It just takes effort. Okay, at least you missed with a freaking Miriam. Eat a wire fist, please. Douglas, that's fine. Wire fist again. That might kill you. Yep. 4200 XP. Can leveled up once. I can't, can't believe it. Not at a time like this. You don't deserve to be my opponent. Better luck next time. So yeah, cannon's still really heavily hurt. She's basically been overclocking her body for a while now. Remember this. It'll start soon. It'll start very soon. <laughs> Teleport. Next time, don't go flying off without heeding my advice. Your enemy is also my enemy. We should fight together, Cannon. We're comrades in arms. More now than ever. Well, then I'll hire you. As an exorcist or as a merc? How about my reward? When I can no longer restrain my other self inside me, you can finish me and my other self off together with your blade. How's that for a reward? It's a deal. I can't believe you two. Let's get back to the Valerie Chateau for now. We can't heal anything well here well. We have 57 minutes. All right. We're back to the Valerie Chateau for our next mission. We have four members of arms again, so we can actually have a party. And Cannon will be permanently in our party because I've barely used her in this game. Basically, when I'm normally playing Wild Arms 2, uh, the two times that I've played through and beaten and slaughtered the game. Um, I basically, when I gained Cannon, I immediately threw her in the back row. Because she was so much weaker than everybody else. Because of the lack of the HP up. I'm going to fix that, though. Oh boy, am I going to fix that. Because, yes, I will, in fact, be getting Cannon to level up. A lot, most likely. We've gained a, uh, we've gained a brave new comrade for our coming battle with Odessa. I'm sure you know that she has fought bravely against fierce opponents before, mostly because you were the fierce opponents in questions. Cannon is an exorcist, a human concealed weapon, and now the fifth member of arms. Welcome to the team. I look forward to fighting beside you, Cannon. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, I'm just here to fight with you against Odessa's misdeeds. Ashley Winchester, I'm here to settle things with you. Ah, I see. Okay, well, I'll be sure to watch my back, I guess. Okay, now for your next mission. Ignoring all of that whole murder stuff, blah, I'm a dick, doesn't matter. We found the energy supply route for the... Uh, we've found the supply route for the energy produced at the alchemic plant. There's an energy pipeline heading into the desert south of Courtly. What would they do with energy in, a, in the desert? There have been lots of ancient ruins found there. That could mean that they've discovered some lost technology. And the plant is there to supply the energy for it. I wonder what they're trying to accomplish. Boo is sitting directly under this, by the way. She's just being shy. Alms will investigate Odessa in the desert south of Courtly. If the situation warrants, they are to block Odessa's plans. Right. It's hard to believe that we're being 
all done to act together like this. That's right, Irving knows cannon. Thus is the destiny given to me by the Sword and Magus's blood coursing through my veins. Destiny given by blood. Aren't you taking it a little bit seriously? Aisha Bernadette. Bernadette no longer exists. I'm a hero, descendant of the Sword Magus, no less. Uh, maybe it is I who is taking things too far. So, yeah. A human concealed weapon. Cannon has transformed her entire body to bionic. Transformed two bionic implants. Transformed her entire body with bionic implants for special powers. Her bionic arm original powers are special commands that use her concealed weapons in energy bursts. Using bionic arm powers in battle may cause her bionic governor to be released, giving her new powers. In addition, her artificial right eye has sonar function for finding items or map symbols. On the Philgaia map, items appear as yellow dots and destination map symbols as green dots. That's right, we can finally figure out where items are on the world map. She has no tools, though. All right. It has been a long enough. Let me save and exit. It is an hour before midnight my time. I'm going to bed. And then I will pick this up next time where we start spending all those delicious personal skills. Also, I need to back up the save. I will do that like immediately. Oh, and we also need to tell Ashley to forget about everything again because uh, forgetfulness. I'll talk to you next time. Bye, Internet. And yes, we finally have our sixth party member. Fifth party member of eight. We've got three more to go. And we have seen two of them for reference. You just don't realize it. And I've actually mentioned the names of all of them. Bye, Internet. I'm waiting for the song to finish.